<laughs> it's time for Guys Talk Knives. I'm Andy. I'm Jason. And we're back again. Yes, we are. And we're going to do an episode today that is not about me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it is kind of about me, though. It is. That's that. I'm totally going to put you on the spot this I, whole oh, episode. I'm and, telling and you. Here's the thing. You know me. I'm a ZT guy. Oh, sure, You sure. guys have watched this show at all. You know I'm a ZT guy. If I have, they've met you, you're a ZT. They know you're a ZT you, guy. It's funny because I still have that Kershaw in my pocket. Do you I really? I guess when you build one yourself. No, of course. Yeah, in your yeah. Pocket, uh, it's a nice conversation starter. It sure it is. The thing <laughs> Look is, what I made. <laughs> we're, we're talking best-selling Spider Coast today. Sure. And the thing about that is I, I don't have anything against Spider Coast. I've just never carried one. I, it, it, the, I think the reason why they hooked me is it was the first... Not cheapo knife that I ever bought. Okay, that makes sense. And it was literally I bought I bought my uh, it's a Delica. Wow. I bought it in two thousand two thousand and one ish. Right. Still perfect. Yeah. Nothing wrong with right. it. The lockback is still one of the strongest lockbacks right ever, and it is a perfect knife. Right now, caveat. <laughs> At the time, we've had this discussion. I was sure. a serrated guy. Right. It is a fully serrated we've got spider today. edge. Yeah. For cutting things that have a little bit of tenacity, mm-hmm. you can't beat it. Right. And it is all metal from handle to tip of the right. knife. Right. So it is still great. I'm not as much of a serrated guy anymore. Right. So I really think I'm going to have to invest in a new spider go. Um, I will still go all metal. Because I love the look of the all metal right. handles, um, though I tell you that your picks today are perfect. Hey, because you have this. Kn- here's here's what I dig about Spiderco. Okay, Spiderco has that nice range from the super high end uh-huh. all the way down to very affordable. Right. right. Um, and there is no difference in the technology. Right. There's no difference in the quality control. There's no difference in in how they're put together. It's just the difference in materials. Right. So they said, okay, we're going to make these all very, very similar. They're all going to have spider hole technology. Mm -hmm. Um, You can do the flick after you learn it with every one of them. Right. They're great. Yeah. And we're just going to give you this nice range of prices and and materials to use so that you're not killing yourself over price or you can go as high as you want. So here's the cool thing. They're not my picks today. Sure. They're their picks. That's true. Gotcha. That's right. So on Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. These are a part of the best-selling spider cones, I love it. Uh, yeah. that we sell. Okay, and it, uh, to me, it was a little surprising. I thought there would be more newer stuff, but uh, but yeah, I, I think what you say is true. And I think people fall in love with spider co, and sure. then they're looking for that knife they've had forever. They want sure. one that's maybe just a step up from it, or they're looking for if the para three is out, they're looking for the para two because they're like, oh, it's a little discounted at this point. But when you think about best sellers in the knife industry. At times you have to, th- and, 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 I, and I know you know this, but, but for you guys out there, you have to think about the tradition of some of these knives. I mean, Buck 110, mm-hmm. it's, it's one of their best-selling brands. Right. They do, do new takes on it. Sure. But that original 110? Still sells. Still sells. Yeah. Um, the Kershaw Scallion, Chive, Leak, been out since Easily, 2000, yeah. 2001. Yeah. Right. They're still one of their top-selling patterns. Right. Those three, because they are so good. Right. And it's the same thing for for Spyderco. Right. Cold Steel. Right. We're going to make the Torpedo. Uh And we made it 20 years ago. Right. And we still have it. Why? Because how can you change a piece of rolled steel with points on both ends that you can fling at stuff? (laughs) You can't. It's perfect. As a piece of steel, you fling at stuff. Right. Um, And and you're not ever going to mess with that design because it still sells so freaking well. Absolutely. Um, and it's the same thing for these guys. You know, for this year, I think I might actually try to carry a spider go a little bit just to see what that's like. You ought to give it a shot. They are different. Um, mm-hmm. The way that I open a spider co is different than the way that I open every other knife that I have. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched you do it. Yeah. It's the hole and you flick it open. Right. And you're ready to roll. Um, also, with these, you're going to get to see three different locking styles from right. spider co. Yes. And again, all that are done great. I'm a lock back guy on a spider co. Uh-huh. And I think it's because, again, with that fully serrated, right. you can bear down and tear through material. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so a lockback's nice and gives you some security. <laughs> well, let's jump into these because yeah, for I, sure. I think there's some great ones here. Let's start off with the um, what's paramilitary that? two. And I actually can do this one. I think 
Oh, I did it, it was before very close. Yeah, it was very close. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna give it a shot. Spidey flick. The Come the on. Spidey flick is is a is an art form. There you go. It's an art form, and you got to get used to it. Now this is a black G10 handle. It's a satin finish CPM S30V steel on the blade. Great steel. Great steel. Um, lanyard hole, thumb hole, ambidextrous four way pocket clip, which is true for a lot of Spider Co's. Uh huh. Um, which means you can carry this literally tip up, tip down, left, right, doesn't matter. There's Completely that, dealer's choice. There's that lock right there on the back. Yeah. And then yeah, this the, one, this one, oh, there's actually four different locks, isn't it? Yes. You have the lock on the back of this one, which is at, after you get used to it, I dig it. Yeah. It's like a it's like a top side liner lock. Right. Um, what do they actually call that? It has a name. It does, and I have no idea. Because you know why? I'm not a spider co guy. No, and I hate to admit that I don't know, and it's just completely left me. Um, so this is a, a almost a it's a little bit over a three and a half inch blade on this. Right. Um, this is mid size of what we brought. Today. It is almost five inches closed. So this was specifically designed, if, if I'm not mistaken, for military and for police. Yes. To carry, um, and it's just a nice. Knife. They have been I like making. The, I like that lock back back there. Yeah, they've Jeez. been making paramilitary this style of knife in various sizes mm-hmm. for years. Yeah, just years, twenty plus. And there's a reason why it's a bestseller. Why do you change something that is that well put together? Right. Uh, look at the blade. This is a a very atypical Spyderco blade. It's like a Tarantino movie. You can spot a Tarantino movie sure. from the dialogue. I think fast, I talk fast. At moment one. See, I think this is I think this is typical. Tell me why you think it's not typical. No, no, it's it says atypical. Oh. This is completely typical. Okay. This is this is a Spyderco. Atypical. No, no, no. This is This is a typical. Exactly. Yes. This is <laughs> I was like, why do you think it's not? I know it is. It looks like a spider I mean, when, we, blade. when we look at all of these, it is that bird's head sure. style blade. I, and they have done that to incorporate the spider hole again for years. Uh-huh. And it's just it's just tremendous. To me, it looks like there's there's uh you know the skull drawings? Yes. Yeah, that's what I always see every time. I see the big uh, bird skull with the big eyeball hole. In spy it. versus spy. Yes. It looks like the yeah. spy versus yes, spy. It head. Does. Very much so. Look at but that. just tremendous, and the versatility on a Spyderco again because of that four-way pocket clip, they're great. That was G10 on the handle. Yeah, yeah. G10 on the handle. Great texture, nice lanyard tube there. And it, it, we'll we'll talk about price a good bit during these five. This is hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Yeah, fully reversible and ambidextrous. Yes, which I think is uh, one of the good things about Spyderco. Almost completely. Almost every one of the knives has that ability for you to move that clip around wherever you want it. Yep. Really, all but one of our best sellers today has the ability to have a four-way pocket nice. clip. What's the price on that? One thirty-seven. One thirty-seven. That is not bad. No, I mean, no, again, S thirty V. S thirty V still G ten handles, full size EDC carry. There's a lot of technology in there. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a lot of movement in there. You have right. a blade you can open with a flick of the wrist, a flick of your finger, or the way that I open them, I just, which is like that. Uh huh. Just a snap of your hand and it's open and in your palm ready to use. Um, I just, I, again, that paramilitary has been around for a long yeah, time. Yeah, they're already up to iteration three, I believe. I so, think so this yeah. is a two and it's among our best sellers right yeah. now at 137. Definitely. So, what's next on the list? Uh, next up is the Spider Go Tenacious. Now, this has been a huge seller this year. Um, I love it. Look at the ramping up on the back of that, that, oh, yeah, right to the jumping right there. Right. Oh, love it. Again, it's that that bur- that spy versus spy head on that knife. You can tell it's a spider co as soon as you open it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is black G10 handle again. Um, it is an R an eight CR thirteen MOV stainless steel right. blade. Um, tip up, tip down pocket clip. Mm-hmm. It is a liner lock. It is a completely reversible and ambidextrous uh-huh. four way yeah. pocket clip. Right. And it's not just a single point pocket clip. Look at the pocket clip for a second. Take that in. It is three separate pieces, so it's going to be sturdy wherever you put it in. Right. It's three three bolts to it. Three, three bolts. Three screws to yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, four, right? Oh, yeah, because yeah, you got no, one, that you runs got one of the, the center, too. One yeah. through the pivot, so you can put the lanyard hole right. there, wherever you need it. Yeah. Wherever you need it, too. Yeah. No. I'm glad you pointed that out. I always forget that they have done that on some so of these. So do you know why this is in the bestseller list? Why? Because this is one of the few Spider Co's made in China. Well, and you can tell that from the price point. Right. It's 8CR. Exactly. So to me, this looks a heck of a lot like a pair of two, right? Oh, sure it does. It's about the same size. Sure. This is this is when we always fail at this show. 
Look at the monitor. There you go. See, yeah. It's yeah. very, very close. It looks very like the pair similar. Is a little sleeker in the blade. This is yep. a little fatter in the blade, a little bit deeper of a choil here. Uh, you have a, a different still. G10 handles on both, good texture on both. Actually, right. almost the exact same texture on both. Sure. You have that completely carry as you want pocket clip. Right. Um, you have a liner lock versus a, a top lock on this one, which right. I think is what they call it. Right. Um, and this one is 46 bucks. Right. And that's why it ends up on the bestseller. Sure. List, right. And that's your that's your price range difference on a Spyderco. So if you wanted to get into a Spyderco and just try one, this is a great one. Okay. For to somebody try like out. you who wants to give it a shot and see what it's like. Sure. You're going to get to experience what that's like to carry a Spyderco to use it. I did it like right in front there of you, you like twice. Uh, it. <laughs> Opening that way takes a little bit of because you, you feel like you're going to fling it across the room. Yeah, that's exactly what I yeah. was thinking. So, but it's a it's a good, sturdy knife. Great liner lock on that. Yep. And again, it's forty six bucks. For forty six bucks. Forty six bucks. Wow. For a spider co. Yeah. So that's one you can try out. It is it yeah. is among the best sellers on the site. I actually think it's the number two best seller right is, now yeah. on the site. The one thing that I would say is we carry a lot of Spider Co. Yes, We're we carrying do. even more Spider Co. as we come into the the thing. You know, twenty two thousand products online at Smoky yeah. Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store. By the way, if you didn't know, that's who you know sponsors this show. What a thought! That's who writes yeah. our paycheck. Yes, it is. As we come in, um, and if you haven't been to our site, you really should go. And I say that in all honesty, we have upgraded at this point. We have upgraded. Is, Things are running smoothly. Yeah. There are just if you gave us a chance before and you were like, meh, yeah, that's kind of crap. <laughs> I mean, I no, seriously, no, no, sure. No, sure. no, it, well, it didn't when do they, this. It yeah. didn't do that. We are working at getting it better and, and we're adding better functionality and better sometimes day by day. Now. Sure. Um, you know, we, we upgraded during 2018. We had some enormous leaps forward, right? Uh, in, in the way that we handle search and right. the way that we handle, uh, functionality on the website in general and really just structure, on the right. website, and then moving to 2019, we're doing you know some remodel, um, making it more user friendly, especially on the app. We're gonna not the app, the uh, uh, the um, phone version. Yes, we're exactly. Gonna really clean that up and and just work at it. And, I mean, and we listen to, to you. Yeah, we're, we we want to make that experience as good for you right. as it possibly can be. At the same time, keeping in mind that um, we're playing to people who like sharp pointy things. Absolutely. And, and we was, don't care what sharp pointy things you like. No, if you like Spider Co, you like Spider Co. If you like Rough Rider, you like Rough Rider. If yeah. you like Artisan, get it. Yes. If you like Buck, get it. Sure. We we are out there. We love sharp and pointy things. We carry as many as we yes, can. We That's do. why our slogan is if it cuts, we carry well, it. Not like literally on our persons. Well, that'd be a little hard with the amount of stock that we have. <laughs> well, some of our employees do. <laughs> They're up to three and four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're almost Wolverine like. Yeah, they're going full Wolverine there. <laughs> if you're not following us on Instagram, if you're not following us on Facebook, <gasps> if you're not following us on Twitter, you you're really, crazy. really, really should. Yeah. Uh, we've got a giveaway each and every single week on both Instagram and on Facebook. Can I, can I give you a pat on the back? Sure. You and your team have done such a great job. Thank you so on much. On social media. I mean, it, to to pitch it from somebody who doesn't do it every day, if you want to be involved in a, a social a social aspect of your life for other people who like sharp pointy stuff. It is one of the most fun places to hang out on the internet. Um, yes, we're going to sell you stuff because that's what we do. Yeah, that's our job. That's our job. But you're also going to get a question a day. You're going to get conversation that lasts all day long. Funny quotes on flash sales. Yes. And you're, you're going to have a lot of fun digging, hanging out with people who love sharp and pointy exactly. things. Exactly. And who yeah. aren't gonna who aren't gonna knife shame you, who aren't gonna say, Oh, well, your knife isn't any good. And if they do, we don't even have to moderate it as much anymore because of the That's right. the people, the the army itself takes care of it and goes, yep. Hey, no, we're not gonna tolerate it. I'm gonna guess that by this point, the time this airs ninety five point six thousand strong. Oh, yeah. uh, Easily. As we're taping this, it's at ninety five point four. I'm yep. gonna guess it's gonna be up to there. Uh, been a great 2018 gonna, and is going shaping up to be a great 2019. Well, 2019 is going to rock. And uh, guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. This is Guys Talk Knives. That's Jason. I'm Andy. We'll be right back after this. And we are back with more Guys Talk Knives and Spider Co. Madness. Spider Co. Spider Co. Does whatever, whatever a Spider Co. Does. You know what it can do? 
What can it do? Cut everything. Yeah, it's nice. Next up are, are two of my favorites. Absolutely. Let's talk about that they've it. they've ever had. Let's and they've done, it. they've done Delicas and, and Enduras in every shape, form, and fashion over yep. the years. Yep. So next up is the Delica 4. Yep. Um, this is probably the most slim version that we have on the table today. Uh-huh. Um, this, again, this is the... If you had to picture a Spyderco in your head, this is the one yeah, that you see. Yeah, it's this, or it's the same thing with a with a metal handle, right? Um, so for this particular, you're looking at a VG10 stainless steel. You're looking at a, a black FRN handle. Um, this is, I mean, again, this is this is the Spyderco. It's a solid lockback knife. It has the spider hole. It's easy to flick open in a right. ton of different ways. Four way pocket clip, left right. Tip up, tip down, doesn't right. matter. So it's carry as you want. Um, and it is just, to me, it may be the perfect spider coat. Yeah, it is the, what I, it is, like you said, it is what people think of us, think a yeah. spider co is. It is also the smallest of the best sellers. It is. And I don't know that I would, that they would probably say it's their flagship. But for me, again, if I'm pushing one, it's, I'm going to go, well, you know, start with a Delica or an Endura. Yeah. Just because. This one's made in Seki City, Seki City, Japan. Yes, it is. And, uh, I, I like the lockback on this thing. I love it. It's it's a little bit over seven inches overall when it's open. And it just, again, it's perfect for your hand. It feels good. It's nice and light because of that FRN handle. Right. Um, you know, you you don't have a huge piece of metal in the blade, so it feels great in your pocket. It's just perfect. Yeah. Just perfect. To me, uh, I think, and I could be totally wrong, but I feel like when Spyderco started doing this, they really changed what a modern pocket knife was. I was about to say the exact same thing. So the, for those of you out in podcast land, if you're listening to this, um, if you've seen a Spyderco, like we've talked about, imagine the heads of the spy versus spies as the blade. Uh-huh. And then it is a very modern folder. And I, I'm like you, I think they changed <laughs> what people thought about when they thought of a modern folding pocket knife, mm-hmm. a tactical pocket knife. Mm-hmm. Um, because they were designing these to be used in military and police for so long. That was who they were pitching to. Right. Um, this one is 75 bucks. That's not bad. It weighs 2.3 ounces. You said VG10? Uh, no, a VG10 yeah, yeah. on the blade, yes. Yeah, yeah. VG10. Nice. And then an FRN handle. VG10 is a really good steel. And just a solid lockback. Mm-hmm. And here's the fun thing. Let me see it for a second. Sure. So even though you have a super light handle, you can still snap it open, and it's in your hand, ready to use. Yeah, just that quick. Yeah, even with a handle that weighs—I mean, this knife is two point three ounces. Right, it weighs nothing. Right. So in your pocket again, however you want to carry it, because it's fully reversible, and you know you can flip that pocket clip wherever you want it. That's like one eighth of a pound. <laughs> it is. I mean, you. I did math in my head, Jason. <laughs> we're not good at that. He had he had to cipher. I carried a number. <laughs> Andy, the double knot spy. Um. <laughs> You just you have a knife that weighs nothing that is up to any task right that is just ready to use yeah I again this is when I when I pitch a spider go to somebody uh-huh. if I'm and I've done this several times recently you're walking through the showroom and you're looking for something and you see somebody at a counter that you know is unmanned at the moment because yep. somebody's taking a knife to you know to actually for somebody to buy mm-hmm. and you step behind there and they're like well you know I don't want to look at the spider co and I'm like okay let's start Delica Endura here. And you put you start laying knives up on the table for them to yep. look at, and they're going, "Oh, I get it." Yeah. You know, they pick it up and they go, "Wow, it it fits like perfectly." Yeah, and it's different. It's yeah. different than most things out there. Exactly. So speaking of Endura, that's the next bestseller. Oh yeah. And uh, it's like the big brother to that. I'm going to hold these both down. Yeah, here it really together is. like this for a second. So the one we're looking at is the Endura Four. Right. Um, just to give you a difference in the length, that Endura Four overall is uh, almost it. nine inches. 8.75. Mm-hmm. This is our fully serrated version that we have on the on the table. It has the you know the spider edge on it, and I will tell you, nylon rope, hemp rope doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're cutting with that, it just tears through it. Yeah. Um, Four way pocket clip again because it's a spider co. Uh, they want you to be able to carry the way you want to. It's a lock back uh, for the Endura. You're looking at a black FRN handle, VG10 still. Again, like Andy said, this is. The, the big brother to the Delica. It really is. It just looks like a longer, beefier version yeah. of the Delica. You know, you can see, look at the thickness on the blade itself. Right. Here, we'll get them in. 
And if you flip it this way, uh-huh. you can see Catch just how light. much more still. There you go. How much more still is in that that Endura? Yep. A um, little bit heavier, but again, you've got an FRN handle, so you're, you're keeping the weight down. So to um, me, this is the quintessential emergency responder. Sorry. It really is. It, you know, it, it's light. It's easy to carry. It will cut through just about anything. Now, if you had to guess, because this one is 75, what would you say that one is? Um, 89.90. 78 bucks. Really? Yes. There's a lot more steel here. <laughs> you went up $3. Again, this is the, the wonder of Spyderco. You know, you go from, from oh, you know, almost 150 bucks to under 50 right. to these two that are right in there with each other. Mm-hmm. Even though you do have a lot more steel and a lot more knife in this one, they managed to keep the price range correct. There you if, go. They're, if they're bigger, they're easier to do. They are. Well, and, and again, after you get used to it and you know you're not going to fling it into the floor or stick it in your leg when you right. do that, you're just like, snap. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Solid lock back. It, yeah. Yeah, I can see this one strapped to your uh, Molly vest and, oh, heck and the yeah. rest of that. No, it's it's just, I love it's it. It's just there to cut through anything you need. And again, that spider edge, if you're looking for a serration system to dig, yeah, let me I, spider edge is beautiful. So this is when we really need to have like a big piece of cardboard or an envelope. We, we need to go uh, to a junkyard and rob a couple seatbelts. Ah, oh, that'd be a good idea. Right? We just keep them here. Yeah. Because just, this thing would just rip a seatbelt in half. Sure. In a heartbeat. You know, I've always been shocked at how well the seatbelt cutters, the uh, <laughs> little ones. <laughs> they are like not the ones that are around. Kids. No, they're not. They just yeah. right through them. I used to carry one. I had a, I had a buck. Uh, it was a buck. God, I can't think of what it was called. It was like their old solitaire, but it had a seatbelt cutter on the other side. Uh-huh. And I used to keep it in my vest when I kayaked. Right. And I actually clipped a guy out of a kayak one time that had flipped over, and he was kind of stuck under it, and I had to uh-huh. get him out before I pulled the kayak out. Right. And I flipped it open, and of course, that piece just had a chisel point with no blade. Right. So I went, Wow. Cut him right out. Yeah. Pulled him out of the kayak, and he was good to go. Well, John and I played with a little CRKT tool. So if I ever find myself in an emergency, if I have a car wreck and I am stuck in my seatbelt, I can use this and cut my way out. In fact, I want to show you how easily this works. I have some nylon strap right here. If I just slip this thing in, I mean, look at that. We were able to cut uh, like double thick nylon yes. backpack straps. Yes. With no problem whatsoever. With ease. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. And, and it's because of the way that's made. And, and again, when, you know, when you're looking at, at this just tremendous serration, you can't pull your finger down this. Right. It will rip it open. Right. And it's just a, just a solid, good knife. I mean, I, again, I can't. I'm a spider Co. guy, so I am biased. So Endura, 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 Delica, Delica. Endura, and they're you can't go wrong. With yeah, them. they're no. they're again. You think about spider right. Co., This is what comes to mind for me, at least. Awesome. Uh, next up is and something I, totally different. Oh, and this is one that I love. I'm going to keep it up here for a second, John, ah, because I can do that with it. Look how smooth the I action know. is on that. So this is the Manix Two. Um, you had, you know, it's a little bit different style. You still have that that very oh, you still spy have that versus spy code. blade. Yeah, it's a little fatter, a little wider, almost like a spear point. Sure, um, it uh, is about the same size as the pair of two. It is, yes. I'm gonna stick this out here. Like so that. on this, you're looking at S30VN still a G10 handle. That same great texture in that G10. Um, the pocket clip doesn't go tip up, tip down, but you can go side to side with it. Yeah, so it's ambidextrous, not reversible. Exactly. Um, ball bearing locks. The ball bearing lock is kind of cool. It's very much like an access lock. It is, yes. Uh, from Benchmade, but it allows you to pull down on each side. Yep. And and it just disengages that right. blade. And so I can, it right with down. just regular torsion yeah. and inertia, pull that. Flick it right up. Yep. Though you can still spider flick, yep. you can still pop it open like I do. Yep. Um, or just upside down and it's, it's ready to roll. I think that's the joy of that is yep. that you can. Um, Pick your way that you want to open it. And I tell you that that ball bearing lock is super, super strong. Right. I mean, it it doesn't there's no play. Right. Um, and then you have some really some really good detail in that. Look at the spine of that knife. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh extra jumping right there yeah. to get on. But it also just has that that little bit of a pop to it. Uh-huh. You've got a lot of metal in that in that handle. It's not all that heavy though. Right. It only weighs about five ounces. Uh, you're looking at an eight inch overall knife. Um, made in the USA. This one's one eleven, one ten, and some change. Yeah, S thirty, you know, S thirty V steel. Again. Oh, sure. So you're, you're, you're in this, it, you're yeah. in this paramilitary. Too you're going to take that that price up a little bit, but that is just a 
beautiful knife from Spyderco. And again, uh-huh. you we've seen four different locking styles from them in five knives. Right. And they all are superb. Right. No, I, I just... think with Spyderco, there's this sameness. It's like a Porsche 911. Okay. We were talking about this beforehand. Okay. So Porsche developed that body style in the 60s. And they've tweaked it. Sure. But you see that shape and you go Porsche. Exactly. There is good marketing and thought to that. Right. You look at any of these knives open and you go Spyderco. Right. Immediately. You know it. And you know it a lot from this round hole, but just the shape of the blade. The shape of the blade. There's a feel to it. There's a, uh-huh. a passion to it. If you look at all of these on the clips, all the clips have the little spider. Um, it is something they do on all of their knives. Um, they're just... Uh, if you're a Spider Co fan, yeah. If you're a Spider Co fan, I'm going to suggest you try something out. I want you to go to smkw.com. I want you to go to the brand of Spider Co. <laughs> yes. and then right up of the brand area where you have all your filters, sort by price, and yeah. then sort so that it is the high to low. Yeah, you're going to find just some crazy drool worthy stuff. Like oh yeah, the Rubicon, <sighs> uh, like some of the gold class stuff that's out there. The, the, they're gold class. If you aren't familiar, Spider Co's gold class is. It's is drill worthy. It really is. It they really they is. put a lot of thought into it. They put a lot of, and they're different. They're, yeah. The uh, a lot of decorative handles and that kind of stuff. Sure. It's just, it's like a limited edition Porsche. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's all about the Porsche. I'm telling you for me. And I think it's why I like a spider co when you have one in your pocket and you pull it out, somebody right. is going to go, Oh, that's a spider co. <laughs> they might miss it with right. other knives. Right. Now that's not as true as it used to be. Right. Because you have some knives that have a very definite look now. But with Spyderco, that look and feel has been around forever. Yeah, probably what twenty years, more than thirty years now. I have yeah. no idea how old Spyderco is. We'll have to look that up and figure it out. Yeah, but it's just uh, it's one of my favorite brands. Always has been. It was my first big boy knife that I bought. Right. With my own money, and I was like, oh, that's I, I actually spent money on this knife. <laughs> So, um, and I still have it. Those are the top five sellers. Yeah. Uh, at Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, SMKW.com. Go find one that you like. Sure. Uh, tell us about it. Put it in the comments on this video. We're going to tell you that uh, Smoky Mountain Knifeworks brings you Guys Talk Knives. Yes, every, indeed. Every single week or as much as we possibly can. Uh, the website is SMKW.com. Um, on this stuff, guys, we need you to like these videos. We need you to comment sure. on these videos. And we need you to share these videos. Yep. And these videos appear on YouTube. They appear on Facebook. We premiere them both places uh, every single week. And we just need your support to help push this show into the next realm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And tell us what you want to see. Yeah. Tell that, us what yeah. you're interested in. Tell us what, you know, if there's, if there's some piece you want us to dig deeper into, let us know. We in, will. In the description each week, I put an email address. It mm-hmm. is socialsmkw at gmail.com. You'll find it right down there. And you can tell us what you want to see in the show. Sure. And, and we'd love to have that because a lot of times I'm sitting at my desk going, what are we going to do? I and have no idea. And it's funny how questions will spark a conversation and then spark an idea for a show yes. that makes us run with it and do something really fun and really cool. Yep. 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 So, yeah. so let us know what you want to see and, and you know, tell us how much you're digging it and mm-hmm. share us with your friends. Yeah. Tell them to come join the army. Yeah. We're fun. Absolutely. Join the SMKW army on Facebook. That's Facebook slash or yeah. Slash, slash. Smoky mountain knife works. Yep. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, which is Facebook or Twitter slash uh, SMKW com. Yes. And then also on Instagram, we are Instagram slash Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Not hard to find us on any no, of those three. But come join the army, us, guys. Go type Smoky <clears throat> Mountain Knife Works in, into any browser, and you will find us everywhere. Uh, absolutely. Have absolutely. Been pocket knife. Have been knife. We're going to pop up. <laughs> this has been another fun episode of Guys Talk Knives. Yes, indeed. We'll catch you next time. Spider Go Madness. Spider Go, Spider Go. Get the hell off my stuff. If you mix those up, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs>